Hi, I'm Vera. Hi, I'm Christina. And today we are going to talk about uh, Carrie Fisher and Debbie Reynolds. Yes. And I, somebody asked the question about the deaths of them two together, and I believe they wanted to know about the transition and all that kind of stuff. And when Carrie was getting worked on on the plane, she was watching them. Because I, she was, uh, it's kind of interesting because it was like she was trying to make deals with oh. God, like, just really? give me, yeah, just give me one more. Because she was starting to get in the groove of life again. Oh. Not that she wasn't before, but I mean, into talking with her craft. Oh, I see. You know, she was starting to get back into the acting and she started feeling better about herself and all that stuff. So it was kind of like, you know, I'm not sure I want to go. Right, kind of right, thing. right. And whenever um, she was at the hospital, when they finally got her off the plane to the hospital, she was watching everybody. Because a lot of people do that, right? Whenever people are watching them pass and all that, all that good stuff. But um, whenever she did die she stayed i mean she was going to be uh earthbound really yes she was going to be earthbound and debbie reynolds needed to help her oh my that's gosh. that's what it was like i was going oh my god it's like wow yeah so it's like she knew that carrie still needed help she still needed yeah her help. she still needed her help so she she had to go and be with her to take her to the light so did she want to stay because she didn't want to leave her mother? She didn't want to leave her mother. She didn't want to leave her daughter. She didn't want to leave her dog, oh. her brother. You know, it was she was starting to get into herself. She yeah. was starting to feel, you know, really good and mm -hmm. and got her. She had her um, that is so her neat. mental illness pretty much you know taken not taken care of, but you know she was on medication and she was doing okay, and you know having fun with the Star Wars thing and coming back and coming into back acting. into it and the acting and you know writing her book she wrote a, I believe another book I think she has four of them or something I didn't know she had four yeah I knew she just came out with one, one. but I yeah. didn't know and it was supposed to be the continuation of the postcards one I see yeah so she was really getting in back into really living wow you know but she was done. I mean, her was, contract was that she did it. Time she, to go. yeah, she, she did it. She did everything that she was supposed to do, and you know, learned the lesson and everything like that. It's just that she didn't want to, so she was like holding on to life. So, you know, it was really interesting too. I wanted to, to say is I was just telling Vera how it wasn't until last night um, that I watched a clip on her brother mm -hmm. talking about how much. His, their mother, Debbie, um, always felt like she needed to help Carrie. Mm -hmm. And so it's amazing when you said that, because even in dying, in so it's like she needed to go do yeah, that. Yeah, she knew that she was still around. You know, she knew something wasn't right. And Wow. Yeah, and knew that she had to be with her to, to help her. And it was amazing. It was just like she, you, I love the way she just checked out. I was just gonna say that's exactly what you were. And she knew saying. her son would be okay. She knew her granddaughter would be okay. You know, um, uh, Carrie has half sisters, I believe, and she knew that they would take care of her mm. granddaughter, and you know, so and that her son would take care of her granddaughter, and but that she, Carrie needed her help. So she had to do that. And she stepped out of her body, just like what you were saying yesterday, that she yeah. stepped right out of her body. Mm -hmm. And we and we know that and we can... took her and said, come on, let's go. And Aww. took her to the other side. Yeah. Because it was exactly what you were saying was exactly what he was describing, that she just said, uh, I want to be with Carrie. And he said she just went to sleep like that, and she left. Wa walked out, yeah. It's so cool that, you know, yeah. we can go that way. Yeah. Isn't that to awesome? See that but that's happen. like what people have been doing for centuries. I mean, it's just we hear about of, it or her, her, have known about it. Yeah, and the olden days were like the Native Americans, how they would just go walk out to the far away country. I mean, far away from the tribe, 
and just sit by a tree and they were gone. I want to do that. Me too. But don't you do that before me, okay? We have... I don't know about that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. All right, you I... have a lot of time left. <laughs> I have a little question though. Okay. I really want your opinion on. Okay. Is or was Carrie Debbie's Dharma? Yes. Good question. Thank you. Thank what you. is Dharma? <laughs> that people know. Okay, Dharma is um, when we feel basically responsible for someone. That if we if 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 we were to leave, like we feel responsible for them and making sure that they're okay. Yeah, but this was this was Debbie's turn. Before in a past life that they had together, it was Carrie's Dharma to take care of uh, Debbie. I mean. Uh, Carrie's yes. Debbie, yeah. 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 So they so switched they to had, they, Yeah, to see what it felt like, you know, for each one of them. It's amazing, too, because... Yeah. Because it was like so Carrie nice. was um, the nanny for Debbie in a past oh. life where... And Debbie was in a wealthy family, you know. And in, in those days, I kind of want to, like, in the 1800s kind of thing, and I don't... I get the impression that the mother really didn't take care of the kids. She had them, but then if if it was a wealthy family, the nanny or the, I don't think they called them nannies back then, but. I know what you mean, yeah, like au pair or something. Like yeah, that. not even that. They called them something else. But anyway, they're the ones that took care of the children. And that's what Carrie was to Debbie. And really felt, Debbie felt like Carrie was her mother. Aww. Yeah, and I mean, she s took care of her. And and even when Debbie grew up in that past life, she had, of course, she had to marry money. She right. took, brought Carrie with her. That was yeah. her nan, yeah, and always took care of her. She did? Yeah, I mean, c because after she grew up and her sisters and brothers grew up, then... Carrie was kind of out of a job, right? Right. Because there was nothing left for them to do. And a lot of times the rich family would, you know, take care of them and keep them in another place. But her, uh, Debbie's father in that past life, it was like, she, there's no job for her, then out. Oh. So they just kind of booted her out. Wow. Yeah, so then when Debbie was able to, she took, carry out from like I think she was like a scrub woman or something wow you know, trying to make it I see yeah. wow yeah that is really yeah special. it was in England somewhere that is really special yeah last question I think everybody wants to know okay is how do you see their transition their transition to the other side oh where do you see do you see anything about that yeah Eddie Fisher was there are you serious? Yeah, and I was thinking, why would he even be there? Wow, because if you don't know, that happens to be Carrie's father. Father. Yeah. And, you know, Debbie. And they broke up. Broke up, up yeah. and all that. But he was, you know, there so happy to greet them. And then there was another dog. Uh -huh. I don't know if she had a dog before, that when she was younger or something. Some dog that, that was really very loved. close to, yeah. And in fact was the dog of Debbie's in that 1800s life. Oh, that's yeah. really cool. Yeah. But yeah, they, they had a lot of people coming. I to bet. Yeah, but the first one was Eddie and that dog. Oh, that's yeah. neat. Yeah. Well, thank you for telling yeah. us about that, because I was really wondering, too. We had some comments about them. Oh, really? So yeah. So we wanted to know. Cool. People wanted to know about that. Yeah, but oh, yeah, there she's... I was going to say, she's in heaven. <laughs> she's whooping it up over there. That was there. a good one. Yeah. <laughs> she's having a good time. Yeah, talking to everybody, you know, and talking to all the stars. and. That's so you know, neat, because that's yeah. what they were saying on the clip I watched, that she was the last of, the, of that time, mm -hmm. of that era. Mm -hmm. So I bet she is with a lot of her pals. You pals, know? yeah. yeah. And oh. even people that she didn't really hang out with, but... On the yeah, because side. she was like, she's super smart. And what a light. Yeah. She's so, yeah. you know. What a troubled light, but a light. Yeah. You know, yeah. what she wrote Bright in, light. having that that uh, bipolar kind of issue that she had to work through. And, you know, she did it. And that's what really would 
she was kind of like a in this life you know helping people like you can still make it and still have that that I guess you call it disease I don't right. know if you call mental illness a disease but I guess you would yeah because you have to take medication and stuff yeah. so yeah. and it would it's just shows it's another uh, a proof of or example I should say of charting well because she charted Debbie to be there they charted each other so she can you know somebody that she has a really close bond with to help her with that right to be able to fulfill her chart and live that yeah but they're really really watching over their her grand her daughter and the granddaughter no yeah and of course um, the son too yeah he seems like he's doing oh very, and he seems good. like and she was like so in love with him too Debbie but he was kind of left out it seemed of the equation and not in a mean way but she knew he was okay right you know right. That yeah he would be he was okay and then you know he did his thing and I was really impressed with his positivism yeah. he just seemed so just like he was God, he looks like so... his dad too he some was... of the things that his mannerisms mm -hmm. like Eddie Fisher yeah and but he, he did like he a really would, neat person and he didn't say like oh you know my mom left me or oh no yeah no he seemed so positive yeah I really liked him actually and he didn't like the fact that people said oh, she died of a broken heart yeah. he goes she did not die of a broken heart yeah he had the positive yeah she wanted to be with Carrie and that was it she yeah. had things to do yeah <laughs> <laughs> well that's neat yeah. so thank you for bringing that yeah that question up today and thank you for asking about it everyone that did because it's nice to be able to pay tribute and talk about somebody that's special yeah. well everybody's special but people know about the, them and yeah. so it's nice to bring that up and yeah. kind of give them a little tribute. yeah because they had their issues too growing up you know when she was when Carrie was going through her 20s and things I don't know if they talked all that much but you know Debbie never gave up on her so that's neat. Yeah. And they didn't give up on each other pretty much. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's awesome. Yeah. Thanks for telling us about You're welcome. That. <laughs> <laughs> and we're looking forward to seeing you soon and sharing more yeah. very soon. Next Wednesday on Facebook. Yeah. And we're gonna live. try to we're gonna try to do live uh, YouTube. Yeah, we're gonna start we're gonna let y'all know. Yeah. We're gonna do one of those soon. A live YouTube and then you can put your comments of what you'd like to know yeah. about spiritual questions past lives angels whatever we yeah. talk about those things so thanks for joining us love See you ya. guys keep your light on yeah there you, go. <laughs> you haven't said that in a while yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> bye